throughout the course of painting, both east and west, brush strokes have been an important element in painting. In the west, throughout all the different eras of painting, from the Renaissance to the modern era, brush strokes have been a key element in the life of expression in painting. Brush strokes bring energy, texture, the personal touch, shape, speed, sensitivity, and variety to the paintings artists create. The application and control of brush strokes is one of the most important aspects of painting. However, brush strokes were not always so important. When painting began in the West, in the European Renaissance, the idea of brush strokes was something artists wanted to hide. They didn't want brush strokes to show. This was because they wanted to create a reality and didn't want to allude to the technique. They wanted to create a kind of magical, atmospheric reality. Perhaps one of the first artists in the history of Western painting to use brush strokes more visibly was Titian. He let the texture, mood, and energy of the brush strokes be visible. Rembrandt is another artist who let his brush strokes show and express something of his personal voice. Eugene Delacroix in the early 1800s was another artist who pioneered the use of brush strokes. Turner was another artist who broke away from the Renaissance approach and let his brush strokes sing. Daumier was another artist in the pre-impressionist era who utilized brush strokes to good effect. In the mid to late 1800s, Claude Monet and a band of renegade artists broke with the Renaissance past and began to make a new kind of art that utilized brush strokes in a stronger way than had been done before. Their brush strokes were not just flourishes for their realism, but were a thing in themselves, a mode of expression in their own right and an important part in the design of their paintings.
After the Impressionists, Vincent van Gogh pushed brushstrokes even further. His brushstrokes had two-dimensional direction, rhythm, and energy, yet they also had three-dimensional force. Like Rembrandt before him, Van Gogh brought thick three-dimensionality to his brushstrokes. So we could say that there are two kinds of brushstrokes, flat and three-dimensional, or visual and physical. In the first decade of the 1900s, André Deran created an approach that became known as Fauvism. His paintings primarily utilized flat but very expressive brushstrokes. Another artist from the early 1900s, Haim Soutin, did many paintings that utilized very physical brushstrokes. Outside of Europe, in the East, China and Japan had a history of excellent painting. Because they primarily worked with ink on paper or cloth, their brushstrokes were of the flat variety. Yet they showed great expertise in variation of size, texture, tone, and rhythm. Over time, various basic brushwork techniques have been established. Wet in wet, dry brush, fluid brushwork, rhythmed, layered, and transparent. They are not the only techniques, but just a few of the basic approaches. Wet in wet involves painting wet paint into wet paint. This creates mixtures of colors and textures you can't get any other way. Dry brush involves skimming a layer of color so that it skips over a dry surface. The fluid approach involves using spontaneous, curved, and liquidy brushwork. Rhythm utilizes the idea of the brushwork creating varied spaces and timing. Layered brushwork means to layer various sizes and textures of brushwork one over the other. Transparent means to use various see-through qualities in the brushwork. As the 20th century unfolded, modernism was generally an approach that stressed two-dimensionality and abstraction. It explored painting in many ways, often using strong brushstrokes.
Milton Avery, an artist of the mid-1900s, created paintings using luscious brushstrokes to create texture. Marc Chagall's brushstrokes evidenced playfulness and joyousness. The fact that brushstrokes can have shape was brought forth strongly by Franz Klein. His large paintings of oversized brushstroke conglomerates evidence the fact that brushstrokes can have shape clearly. Jackson Pollock innovated with a new approach to brush strokes. Rather than using a brush, he applied the paint by dripping it on. Willem de Kooning, an artist who is part of the Abstract Expressionist movement, utilized brushstrokes as the main theme in his paintings. In the 70s and 80s, Helen Frankenthaler innovated by using poured paint. Grace Hardigan's brushstrokes were bold and expressed her voice gloriously. She used long running drips as an expression of her painting personality. Sam Francis's paintings were often very large and utilized poured and splashed paint. Gerhard Richter created his brushstrokes and modified them with a large squeegee. Kenny Scharf took brushstrokes into new territory by using sprayed brushwork. <laughs>